Hey babe, I'm gonna run to McDonald's and pick up a couple of Happy Meals. I overcooked the steaks again. Well guys, the gig is over. Study finds 100% of men cooking on grill, just kind of pushing meat around and hoping for the best. Now you know what your wife is thinking when she's looking out the window at you, when you're at the grill, she's like, he doesn't have a clue. Just look at what self-professed grilling aficionado Scotty Moon said, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just out there moving meat around to different areas on the grill and hoping for the best. Of course that article is satire, but it's kind of funny. I think we can all relate. I think we've all messed up dinner at least once, and it's usually because we've overcooked it or undercooked it, or it took a lot longer than we thought and people are sitting around hungry. So today we're gonna to talk about temperature. It really is the thing that can make or break your cook. The difference between a juicy, pull apart, smoked pork butt and a piece of shoe leather is almost always temperature. Let's go back to the pork butt, for example. Everyone knows 145 degrees is the safe temperature. But if you were to stop there, it's gonna be really tough because you haven't broken down the collagen yet. To do that, you need to slowly bring that temperature up somewhere between 200 and 205 degrees. I've, I've gone up to 210 degrees sometimes, but that's where the temperature difference matters. Five degrees off and you might have an okay product, but it's not gonna pull apart tender. And it's very similar for brisket. So in the example of brisket, once again, we've gotta break down the collagen and you've gotta get it somewhere between 195 degrees Fahrenheit and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. But also, if you go too far and cook it too long, it's just gonna fall apart like a roast. So there's a fine line here, guys. You've gotta get it right. Or those baby back ribs, 145 degrees, safe. But you're gonna need to get them up somewhere between 190 and 203 degrees Fahrenheit for the meat to be tender and fall off the bone. Okay, and now with Thanksgiving right around the corner, I know how much you guys all look forward to doing your smoked turkeys every year. This is a big one. You do not want to get somebody sick. I remember years ago, we were invited to a Thanksgiving dinner at a family member's. We sat down, she cut into the turkey, and it was raw. It was pink in the center. She never recovered from that. Even though uh, she could go in and heat it up in the microwave, nobody really wanted to eat the turkey after that. It was terrible. I felt bad for her, but nobody wants to get sick. And these are the things that you can avoid if you know how to do it properly. And that's where today's sponsor, Chef's Temp, comes in. Chef's Temp is known for their accuracy, the accuracy that you and your family depend on. Stop messing around, guys. Get it right the first time. And they sent me the Pro Temp Plus to do an unboxing today, so we're gonna get into that in a second. They also sent me their Rapid Thermometer. Uh, this is the final touch. It'll get an accurate reading within about a second, which is really important for those thinner cuts like steaks. And they also gave us a discount code. So you can use 25% off site-wide when you use the code WWBBQ25 in the checkout. Let's get to the unboxing. So they sent me their ProTemp Plus. This is the wireless thermometer. And then they have a handheld here. You really need to have both. I like to use these for the roasts. I like to use this for steaks and the thinner cuts, but we can get into that in a little bit. Let's get it out of the box and see what we're working with here. Okay, we've got instructions. We've got over here, uh, this is gonna be an extra temperature probe. Here's the main one that ships with it. Here's the unit. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Okay, take off that plastic. There is the wireless thermometer. This is the base. We'll get into uh, some of the specifics later. Take off that back cover, and this is where you can charge two temperature probes. Down here, you've got a charging cord, and then they even give you some labels so you can uh, know which probe is which if you have it in different cuts of meat in your smoker. All right, let's power this up. Press and hold for a second or two. All right, 
and let's see how easy it is to add a device. I've never done this before. Basically, you download the app, you set up an account with your email and a password, and then we're going to go Pro Temp Plus Series. Press and hold the power switch to activate the charging stand and charge the probe. Okay, I did that. We'll go next. Take out the probe from the charger. Okay. Press and hold both switches until the screen displays C1. Okay. And then search devices. Wow, that was easy. Okay, we'll go next. Connecting Wi-Fi to ProTemp. Let me put in my Wi-Fi real quick. And we're connected, so start cooking. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is go to settings. I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna switch off of Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, so we've got internal temperature. Right now it's taking the temperature of the air in this room, which is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and go here. We can tap to set up a cook. Let's do pork. And we're going to do a pork line. 145 and your pork will thrive. That's exactly where you want to take it out. I'm going to take this temperature probe. This is the bigger of the two and we're going to put it in a pork loin. You want to sink it in to the level of this line. So that's where your internal temperature probe is for the meat. And then out here is going to be your ambient temperature of your cooker, your oven, your smoker, your grill. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this right through the center, push it all the way up to that line. And then we can flatten this back out. I put some barbecue rub on here. This is um, Suckle Busters Honey Barbecue Rub, which goes really good on pork. And it's been sitting on here for about 30 minutes. The nice thing here is obviously you can monitor this remotely on the app. If you have Wi-Fi connected, um, you could monitor it anywhere in the world that has an internet connection. And if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, no problem. They've got your back. You can use Bluetooth with their built-in Bluetooth repeater. But let's get out to the pit and let's get this cooking. All right. So we're going to do just a little tiny piece of cherry on top of the charcoal. It's a very small pork loin. And we're going indirect. So the heat is over there, meat is over here. And we're gonna close this lid and we'll go from there. It's been about 15 minutes, a little bit more than that since we put this in. Now there's enough data to make this interesting for you. So top left, target temperature, 145 degrees Fahrenheit. We've established that. Ambient temperature, 295. That is the temperature inside of your pit, inside of your grill. This is so important. A lot of the grills and smokers that are out there on the market, the built-in temperature probe is oftentimes not that accurate. Um, if, for example, you think it's at 300 degrees, it could be at 250. And that's going to cause your cook to take a lot longer, leading to some of your frustration. Now you know. It's nice to have an independent source to check. Here internal temperature of the meat. We're at 64 degrees. We've got 59 minutes left approximately in this cook. Down here, the green fill represents our ambient temperature. So you can see how it rose and rose and then leveled off at about 290. And then right below that is the orange. So you can see that that is rising over time as well. So we're going to come back uh, when this is done and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, we're getting pretty close here. We're at 144 degrees Fahrenheit. Our finishing ambient temperature dropped about eight degrees. We're down to uh, 282 degrees. It took about an hour and 15 minutes. And um, I'm pretty impressed with this. 
it did not lose connection once. I went all the way down to my basement. That's been an issue in the past with other wireless units. Open this up, looks awesome. And we're gonna use the final touch. So this is the chef's temp final touch. I like to use these as a verification. So we've got a 145 almost reading in here. We can double check, but I like these, especially with this quick accuracy, like within a second, you're gonna get a reading. When you're cooking a steak, you don't have time to hold it and wait and see. You could overcook it when you're shooting for medium rare. So I just heard that beep over there at 145. We'll see how we're doing. Right about 146. There we go, within one degree. And this is ready to go. Let's get it off and slice it. Okay, so stop overcooking, undercooking your food. Get it right every time. I've got a 25% off code in the description. Thank you to Chef's Temp for sponsoring this video and helping me cook a perfectly smoked pork loin. Look at this guy, super juicy. Can't wait to dig into it.